What is up? Welcome back to yet another video. So if you know me a little, um, and if you don't, you will get to know me very soon. I really enjoy performance of websites, but performance of anything basically. But because I'm such a geek, I also really like to see metrics about this performance. And I also like privacy related subjects. So having Google Analytics on your website is not as great for its performance because it's loading like separate files and stuff. And it's also tracking your users. But I just like those metrics. So I saw this tweet the other day, or maybe it's on that site. Let's see how I edit this. And this is from Surma, where he did like the mini hack of the day, and in which he kind of removed. Um, analytics.js from Google and added a very simple way with the web beacon send of um, the analytics code. And so this means there's no longer tracking JavaScript of Google. I don't think it's GDPR compliant exactly, but at least it's way lighter. And then on top of that, he added a web vitals package and all that information is also sent to Google. So I am really interested to see how that works. And you know what, I did it. I gained some performance and I did it in Nuxt. So in this video, you will learn how to minimize your Google Analytics um, page weight stuff, be more um, good for privacy, and get really cool metrics on performance in Nuxt. Okay, that was a long intro, let's run. All righty then, let's dive into the code. So. I have here idea.js just to show you what the ideas of this tweet from Surma. And so this is its simplest form. So we now no longer have the Nuxt Analytics plugin and we also don't have analytics.js from Google. So what I've done now is like, um, this is a plugin. I'll show you what that means later in Nuxt, but for now, assume that this works. So I'm getting the router, which is view router from Nuxt. And after each route, so when I go to slash videos or slash about, this function is fired, which is called send. And then my send function receives a bunch of data and it has a bunch of default data and it's using send beacon, which is a browser feature to send something quickly. It's super lightweight. And so it's actually sending it to googleanalytics.com slash collect. And you, if you have normal analytics on your web page, you tend to see this slash collect thing happen all the time. And it's actually a GIF because that's the easiest way for Google to collect information that is not blocked by anyone. So I'm actually sending like my um, ID of my account and the CID actually, Surma also said that it's completely random. So Google cannot track subsequent calls because every call is a new ID, so it's a new user. And then of course we need the location. And then you can see that data is sent on top of this for if I wanted to send more stuff. So in this case, I wanna send a page view after each route. So this is the simplest way this works. And so let's have a look at how I actually did it myself because I said it's a plugin, right? So in the next config, you'll see plugins, analytics.js only for client side because I'm doing a Jamstack website. For, so for me, this, this is important. Um, so let's have a look at that analytics plugin because when you have a plugin in Nuxt, in your default function, you get the context of Nuxt. And in my case, I only need the app because it has the router. So after each route, you can see that's the same code here, right? So I'm sending a page view. But so when, it, when you look at my code, I actually made it a little bit bigger, right? Because I thought maybe I need a little bit more information not to break my Google Analytics interface, right? Because they actually have like user agent, they use that to see, hey, is it a mobile user or not? And so for me, that's still pretty important. I look at the referrer, if there is one, I look at the actual screen width and height. We're looking at the, um, the so this is the, this is a screen and this is like the viewport of the user. So if they have dev tools open, it's a bit smaller, right? I look at pixel depth and then at the language. So this gives a little bit more. It might be on the edge of what privacy is and what not. So I might remove it later, but I wanted to add a bit more just to be sure that it works. And then on top, the same thing that Surma also did is add the web vitals package here. And this has really cool stuff, right? So like time to first bite, you know, first content full pain, things like that. So all the stuff that you get in your um, audits panel, you have that as functions here. So I decided to follow suit from Surma and actually on each page load, 
I will fire all those functions and when they actually complete, so when it calculated the number of my first contentful paint, stuff like that, it will actually then fire this function, which is here, which again uses the send with a whole bunch of extra variables, right? So it's sending web vitals as um, an event. In this case, it's an event, right? And so it has a bunch of numbers and it's also that it's not an interactive click of someone, but I automatically send it. So this is going to Google as well. So over time, I will now gain a bit of information about users specifically on their browser, how fast my website was for them. And so this is more than you normally get from Google. And, but I'm not even using their analytics library anymore. I'm doing it myself. And so this is cool. I love this stuff. So now let's have a look at um, the performance enhancements that I got on my website itself. This is Debug Bear. It's one of my new favorite tools because it really looks into performance really well and it checks stuff over time. So Debug Bear, I will make a video later right away on this because I'm really, I really enjoy this kind of stuff. So what they do is they run Google audits from their server farm or from the cloud. And then you can add some pages in the interface and then over time you can see the differences. So that's what I did. So I won't go into Debug Bear as much now, we'll just, look at this so this is the mobile view of my um, home page and so with google analytics this was where i was at and now you can see here that the google analytics file has been removed and things went down quite a bit and also in things i didn't expect look this is first contentful paint it went down from 883 milliseconds to now 486 or a bit higher today anyways it's, it's close right and then the largest contentful paint actually went down time to interactive went down everything went down js time beam total blocking time beam i can almost not believe that this is just my analytics code that is removed um you can also see that from my my package i have a bit less javascript because the the next package for analytics is also gone and it uses few analytics, which is pretty big, so it's all gone. However, it, this, these numbers are almost too much. So let's not pin ourselves completely to how awesome this change is, because it might not be that for you. I might have changed another thing that made this so good. Maybe there was a CDN hiccup in, in Vercel, but anyways, um, we can see that I removed 18.6 kilobytes anyways. Um, and I moved some of my own code and I gained more information in my analytics interface. So without really taking this as complete truth, you can see a difference. And I think that's really, really cool. Anyways, this was a short video. Thanks for watching and happy hacking on Next. Cheers.